right, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the Chan Chan. How you doing? Today we are in San Luis Obispo. Still, it is day four of the road trip. If you guys are new to the channel and you're wondering what's going on, I highly recommend you pause the video and go check out these videos. I'm gonna link it. It's going to explain what I'm doing, but in short, I'm doing a road trip from Carlsbad where I live, up the coast, all the way to Washington, camping along the way, cooking along the way, doing fun activities and all that good stuff. So, super exciting day today. I'm currently at a place called Bishop's Peak Trail. I'm gonna hike up to the top of this. I'm gonna be exploring downtown Cal Poly, San Luis Obispo, seeing the gum wall, and then also going to this recommended deli that someone said I should go to. But also, I'm gonna be sharing something with you guys that's super exciting. I've never done it before. Let's just say it takes place in a lake, and that was yesterday on day three, so I'm excited to share that. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. It is currently 1.15 p.m. It is getting hot right now. Um, rolling up and seeing this, I was a little nervous. I heard it's pretty steep and it's just this gigantic mountain. So we'll see how it goes. Rabbit trail shirt. All right, we're all set. We're gonna switch to the GoPro in three, two, one. Boom, let's go. That's where we're going. mentioned this before but there is something so humbling about trails the terrain the incline and uh, actually less impact on your joints so so I think a lot of endurance runners preferred over pavement runs it's good for training really good for training holy is the peak up that way yeah, yeah. how much how much like 10, 10 minutes uh, 10. That's walking if you're, if you're ten. running like 10 yeah if you're running 10 all right cool thank you a friend of mine said to go hike up the rocks and I'm assuming those are the rocks so that's what we're gonna do In case you guys are wondering, yes, my knee does still hurt. <sighs> All right, well, that was a solid hike. That was three and a half miles, 1100 feet of vert, and it took me about, let's see, 44, 44 minutes and five seconds. So exactly what I expected, no surprises. Your classic trail, a ton of vert, very rocky. Beautiful scenery, and I even made it to the top of those little rocks. I went past that bench. So, solid hike, uh, got active, and feeling good, baby. Street Deli Sandwich Review. Oh my god. I got the, what did I get again? I can't, I don't. I got the Dutch Punch. This is on Dutch Crunch Bread. It looks like a French roll focaccia with like rosemary and I think they dust it with Parmesan and then cook it in the oven. Soft texture on the inside with this crunch and then it looks like they do a chip. Let's see how it is. Oh my god. 
Oh my god. That's the best sandwich. All the flavors, you guys hear me talk about flavors working in perfect unison. That's what this sandwich does. Thick, cold, smoked turkey. Crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. Dutch crunch bread. Layered with chipotle mayo, both on the bottom and the top. Working perfectly with the juicy tomatoes, red onions, lettuce. And then we have avocado and just these insanely thick slices of provolone cheese with apple with smoked bacon. Wow. This is hands down the best sandwich I've ever had. I'm getting hints of sweet and obviously it's savory. Sweetness is probably from the bacon. Leave a comment below. Where's your favorite sandwich from? What is your favorite sandwich? Dutch Punch from High Street Deli. That's mine. Let me know what yours is. I'm about to go. Oh, here it is. Bubblegum Alley. This is it. The moment we've all been waiting for. It's kind of nasty, huh? Dude, this is disgusting. I'm just gonna put a piece of bubblegum on because it's like I might as well. I don't even want to put my finger on this wall. All right, all right, there we go. Boom, done, fresh. That's it. All right, we're done. Sick, that was that. Hey, cross, bubble, bubblegum alley crossed off the list. That was anticlimactic, but you know what? We did it, we got here and we, we did it. Teresa, what are we doing right now? just pulled up to a place called Cave Landing. Let's see, Cave Landing and the beach. I think it's Pirates Cove. Not sure if I can camp here, so I might go back to the place I was at that second night. Um, either way though, views are insane. I'm parked up on top of this hill. I'm looking at these rolling mountains, um, and then right behind me is the ocean. So I'm gonna chill here, pour myself a small glass of red wine. I mean, I am in wine countries. All right, well. Guys, that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I will see you next video where we will be heading up to Big Sur, leaving from here. So stay tuned. Peace. Okay, I know I said the video was just over, but uh, it's almost eight o'clock and look at this view. Wow. Mm.